if you guys have seen this, but this girl has gone kind of viral on my side of the internet. Um, they're calling her NY, what I call her NYC Subway Girl, but I guess her name on TikTok is um, Subway Sessions. And essentially, she's got really cool and crazy outfits that she puts on all the time and flexes in the New York subway. The, w- the one thing that's impressed me about her outfits or just the fact that she puts them up online on TikTok and shit is more so because, if I'm not mistaken, when she does the whole outfit that thing, she puts her phone, I guess, somewhere on the railing on the wall and then kind of walks away from it and does a little twirl so you can see her outfit. I'm just more surprised that she's that okay and confident to put her phone on the floor or on a rail or something in the new york city subway because the new york city subways look like the sub you know the underground we have here in london and those places are kind of sketchy so to put your phone there even for a couple of seconds to take a picture somebody could easily just run by you and just pick it up and run so the fact that she does that is pretty um brave in that respect but i did put together this little compilation video actually here on my account uh, with some of her looks so you can see what she does but this is kind of her vibe and what she's been kind of known to do on social media and shit and everyone's been kind of eating it up i think most of the replies have been that it looks awful i think when we first saw this video picture especially this look here in the start which kind of she's wearing if you're not seeing the video she's basically wearing a pair of shorts basketball shorts it looks like with what looks like to be some sort of like i don't know uh, bra panty combination with some sort of lace undergarment thing on top like it looks a bit of a mess right it kind of looks like the thing that you know a young girl would wear if she's trying to wear like her mom's clothes but there's clearly a bit of a vision there too it's kind of giving sarah jessica park a sex in the city type of vibe right there's something there i can see what she's trying to do but it just comes off a bit weird um and obviously you know she's probably not you know probably the swag isn't there in terms of how she looks but i appreciate that she's taking the risks that she's actually trying to wear interesting combinations of clothes together not just wearing the stereotypical you know um what do you call it instagram discovery page street style that everyone's wearing especially in new york every time i go on those street style pages on instagram of girls and shit wearing clothes or people in general all you see are girls in new york wearing a fucking brazil t-shirt for some reason those brazil shirts have girls in new york in a fucking chokehold everyone's wearing brazil shirts everyone's wearing sambas everyone's wearing like quote-unquote boyfriend jeans it's all a bit redundant and all a bit boring so at least with this girl she's actually got her own little style let's play the clip so you can see what she's wearing here So yeah, the vision's there. It just looks a bit crazy, but the vision is there. I do see what she's going for, but it just looks a bit wild, you know? Don't get me wrong. It looks a bit, looks a bit insane, <laughs> what she's look wearing. But hey, at least she's trying to put something on. She's trying to mix it up. She's not doing the whole usual standard thing. Some of the comments online have been crazy. Let me just quickly go back to that comment, actually. What did that person say? <laughs> the comments are not loving it. One of this person says... I think I've, no, actually, this person likes it. This person says a really good comment. I think I've tweeted this before, but a bad outfit is freedom. Like fashion sucks when it's imprisoned by a uh, mutually agreed upon standard, especially by the masses, on what is good or socially acceptable outfit. Let this all, let's all be free and let other people be free, which I agree. At least she's got personal style. It just looks really janky and kind of awkward and shit, but you know at least there's something there this is how kyle bradshaw used to look after leaving the fucking from fucking big that's funny the pictures there of sarah jessica parker comparing her to that sort of look um and then of course some people are saying here yeah, she might get a modeling contract more conversation with people online say she's like bella hadid the internet about to hate poster to the front row true she's probably gonna see a fa- fashion week um new york and stuff and i like this comment too actually this person was right this person says you're right she should go out in sheen cargo pants and panda dunks and a skims t-shirt which everyone kind of does and let me skip a bit forward now and you actually see that she does actually have good outfits that's a funny thing like she all her outfits that went online that went viral were horrible but she does actually know how to dress like because i think these outfits are really nice the ones coming up now these look really good i think these might be some of her best that i've seen some people pull online that she actually looks really good here i like the combination of this with the jacket on top the anorak with the mesh or the netted skirt is really good this coat with the overcoat and the heels on is really good as well this jumper tucked into the cycling shorts is not a shabby look 
and of course i'll take the sound off there but you can hear that as well this look is fucking insane but i love this as well that's a really good club look it's very skimpy and you probably you know need to be a certain size to wear it but i actually like it literally just got a piece of leather that may looks like a scarf covering the boobies and some low-rise fucking leather trousers where you can probably see a butt crack, but hey, it kind of is what it is. And another interesting outfit there. Some other ones with the, like, she's got panties pulled out. No, well, I guess the skirt is kind of pulled down to expose the pants, so it kind of looks like low-rise panties or something. I don't really know what's going on there, but I'm kind of loving this as well. And a few others as well, as you can see. So crazy enough to see. And as per usual, this might be my favorite one, actually. I quite like this. This is one of my favorites. And of course, as per usual, when this stuff happens, um, the internet goes crazy. And the cut actually featured her in a little feature here where they kind of, you know, interviewed her and asked her some questions. So I'm going to quickly read this article as well um, to give you an idea on what she says and what she's talking about here. Because I'm curious to hear what her fucking vibe is. Duh, 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 duh. Where is it? Let's see if she says anything. No. Yeah, there we go. So this is the interview here, coach of the cut. And it says, um, what do you do for a living? Of course, they had to open up with that because I think everybody was thinking she's giving rich girl. She says she's a freelance styling and bartending. Editorials mostly outrageous looks that require creative vision. So I do like the fact that she has a regular job. She's not, you know, so far we haven't heard that she's fucking, what's that word? She's not like a trust fund kid. Not that it would matter, but you know, she's kind of out here just you know scraping and scraggling like the rest of us you describe yourself as an artist what are you um what art are you making clothing is my art i i don't know i feel like this interview has really started off pretty combative no or am i just reading too much into this these first two questions sound a little bit like interrogations anyway um you describe yourself as an artist how, how wh what kind of art do you make it's like hmm, a bit snidey but anyway let's continue clothing is my art i mentioned that my body is my canvas it's like a painting every single time it comes out different but it reflects the your emotions and how you feel this answer is a little bit cringe and very passionate for fashion but i love it because i feel like she is actually being 100 percent real so i'm back in this so I'm, I'm a big fan of hers anyway fuck it I'm going to ride for her. She seems cool. Um, what are you trying to explore with it? She says, I like to provoke emotion out of other people. I always like to feel myself. If whatever I put on doesn't make me give, doesn't give me an emotion, I can't wear it. Nowadays, everything is so bland, which is true. She's right. Especially walking down New York. Just find a regular New York style page and you'll see the same fucking style of people rocking the same sort of shit, being safe, playing within the margins. At least she's going for it. How long have you lived in New York? 12 years where did you grow up i actually grew up in armenia oh so she's from the same country as fucking kim kardashian interesting when i was very young we moved to russia and then afterward i traveled to france and i studied there for a little bit and then i came here afterward mm, i studied journalism it made me aware of the people to think and it helped me with my dressing that's therapy as well this is kind of giving international student which is also kind of giving parents of kind of political, you know, diplomats or some shit to move around to from those countries, right? Armenia to Russia to France, then to New York. It's kind of giving rich kid. But again, we don't give a fuck because we're going to ride for her. But it's funny she said Armenia because I guess this is what Kim Kardashian's bum would look like if she didn't get any work done in it, right? I guess this is how regular Armenian girls are built like. No offense to the lady and stuff, right? But regular Armenian girls are probably built like this right this is how they're actually built so if kim never got a never got work done on herself she probably looked like this that's a funny thing right <laughs> that's the that's the actual funny thing about it like if kim got no work done she'd maybe look like that that's actually what it looks like so yeah big up her for keeping her real body we'd love to see it it's actually interesting because i feel like nowadays in a world where everybody gets work done when you actually have your natural quote-unquote body you actually stand out more Am I fucking glazing her off or am I making a good point? I don't really know, but we continue. <laughs> um, when did you become interested in fashion? Since I was very little, I would not be able to, I would not be allowed to wear certain outfits. I had a strict mum and a strict dad. I couldn't wear anything too tight or too showy, but I could always have an extra outfit in my bag. I started taking fashion seriously maybe three years ago. I challenged myself to put on an outfit and make an effort to push myself further instead of just putting on a t-shirt and jeans. My vision has got better. I like how I dress. Yeah, I like it. I like the fact that she likes what she wears, to be honest. Do you consider yourself a stylish person? 
I would absolutely. How? What has the response been online for me posting your outfits? How, how does it? How does it make you feel? Honestly, it can be overwhelming at times. But thank God I'm not a sensitive person. Sometimes I look at the comments, and some of them are just trying to get attention. But I also have a lot of positive comments, um, feedback sorry, from people who actually follow me that are inspired by me. They tell me to not to stop. I've been flooded with messages. Oh, I, I thought she was going to start saying, I get messages of people telling me they're going to kill themselves. Like, honestly, whoever does that, you guys need to stop. Whoever, Whoever's out there who trolls people online that make content and send them fucking DMs saying your content made me want to like not commit suicide. Like, you guys need to stop. All of you guys that do that, you guys and girls, you guys just stop because every content creator has that same story you guys man if not with you guys i wouldn't be here it's like come on man relax most of these fucking content creators myself included are just chatting fucking shit into a microphone we're doing nothing special like don't put that fucking pressure or that responsibility on us you know i mean we are nobodies <laughs> please anyway um i've been flooded with messages i'm very excited about it i just started my tiktok a month ago and I had maybe 100 followers. And now on Twitter, the basketball shorts video has like seven, 57 million views. How do you go from that? How do you do? How do you go from that? My Instagram is private because I don't want to show off. But two of my friends have been seeing me in the outfits and told me to post on TikTok because they know I would go viral. I finally did. And they were right. Shit. She only started posting a month ago. <laughs> That's fucking wild. But also goes to show that content does go viral like on tiktok more often than it does anywhere else because i guess you know stuff that stands out that looks a bit crazy it's going to get a lot more attention which is good too because it also should encourage people out there who are into fashion into dressing to try something and not be so risk adverse you know anyway um why do you think your looks have been polarizing i think it's like a car crash I like that. I like that she said that. You gotta love a fucking self-aware queen, right? Most people on the internet, sometimes myself included, I don't think so really, because I feel like quite self-aware. But most people out there, for some reason, aren't self-aware. And I feel like being self-aware is usually a superpower. Um, there's something wrong. So yeah, if, if it's like a, I think it's like a car crash. There's something wrong. There's something fascinating. It's wrong, but it makes you feel something. Like, what is it? You can't put your finger on it. I go with that. I don't like to put on a beautiful what you call it a beautiful dress and just to be a beautiful girl that's too simple i like to put things together skin is the best part of my outfit in my opinion so i always try and show off if i can interesting idea skin being the best part of an outfit hmm doesn't work the same way with guys unfortunately unless you want to go for the you know the basic kind of gay look of always having your top off it doesn't really work the same way i feel like skin whether you're showing your knees or your legs or your calves or your thigh. Maybe the thigh muscle sometimes works if, you've, if you're jacked and you squat. Yay, big up crush. Appreciate you, brother. AZ, your low budget podcast <laughs> saved my life. Hashtag headset. <laughs> big up crush. Fuck you. <laughs> big up crush, but fuck you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> your low budget podcast saved my life i don't know what i'd be doing here without you thank you thank you so much <laughs> oh you guys are fucking annoying i swear to god but big up crash uh, <laughs> hashtag headset <laughs> honestly you have no idea how much money i spent on that headset what was it the um, logitech one the wireless one i think i still got it back there it's wireless right it's pretty decent I think it was like fifty pound or sixty pounds. <laughs> I spent that shit. I thought it was gonna be a game changer for my streams. Number one is hard to connect with it, you know, streaming because you can't listen to shit. You have to get a separate dongle. But then number two, you guys all told me the microphone sounds like fucking dog water. So I spent all that money on this headset, thinking I was gonna be like a proper. Yeah, I'm gonna be Kai Cena, man. I'm gonna be the guy. <laughs> and the whole chat was like no l l change 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 oh as soon as we laugh i look at it now i'm like fuck man i wasted all that money for nothing but anyway we move we move we move um it continues here uh now like i was saying i don't think skin works the same way with dudes unfortunately 
for some reason um it just doesn't work the same way i think maybe girls have a better way of kind of using skin as part of an outfit because there's more sensuality sexuality um and just fucking freak shit and just fucking emotion and feeling that comes off of seeing a girl's skin whether it's a shoulder whether it's an elbow or whether it's a fucking back of their hand or something i mean it works different it continues here it says what has the response typically been in real life on a subway she says um, the most comforting fact is that I live on the Lower East Side. I never go to Queens or Harlem where people don't understand. Hold on, hold on. What what she mean here? Hey, Subway Sessions girl, I love you and I want to be your fucking stan. I'm going to run your number one fan account. But what are you saying here? This sounds a bit insane, girl. I never go to Queens or Harlem where people don't understand. What do you mean by people? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by people what kind of people don't, don't understand in harlem and queens what do you mean by that please <laughs> even though harlem's a home of fucking dipset right the home of fucking asap mob and shit right all those guys get jiggy right they get freaky they love the fashions what do you mean by that where people don't understand tell me more anyway exactly it's a dog whistle <laughs> it's a fucking fashion dog whistle <laughs> anyway let's continue <laughs> it's like me rocking up to a louis vuitton store and they say and they tell me no sorry sir we're closed you know sorry sir we're closed but you just let that whole family in sorry sir we're closed <laughs> invite only you're like whoa um <laughs> yeah exactly yeah exactly she doesn't want to get roasted by teenagers exactly black teen exactly exactly no nobody does lols where i live mostly younger younger crowd and people who love that um i only have experienced the positive people will stop me and take pictures i've never experienced hate in real life it's only the internet which is true i think for the most part you know we've all seen people wearing crazy shit in the streets or wearing horrible outfits and at the most you might roll your eyes you might double take you might if you're a fucking weirdo take a picture of them but you're very weird rarely gonna go up to them and say excuse me you look like fucking shit excuse me why are you wearing that excuse me do you know you got a bad outfit on excuse me you know you can't mix nike and adidas you're not gonna do that you're just gonna leave them to do their thing but obviously on the internet it's a lot funner to fucking just shoot off some fucking mean words i get it um i get it i don't get it i get it i get it anyway continues i just want to clarify you said you never got to queens or harlem where people don't understand what do you mean by that <laughs> okay cool the, even the all right i said it the other question honestly this the cut mate this cut article is hilarious whoever this writer is i feel like they kind of hate her they don't really like this girl <laughs> anyway I believe if you live somewhere where it's mostly family oriented places, like houses or older people, they wouldn't understand your vision. Ah, oh, she means family. Okay. But hold on. Doesn't the guy from Fast and Furious say it's all it's all about the family? Right? Vin Diesel. So maybe she means that. Maybe that's where she's getting it from. Family, right? But then in my head, when you when you say family, it kind of means code word for black and brown people too, right? Because they're all traveling groups. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Chico and chicas, right? <laughs> hermano, hermana, right? It kind of feels like that. But anyway, me family. Me, me family, yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. Um, she answers, like, how's older people? They wouldn't understand your vision. Older people with families who are well-established. But because I'm on the Lower East Side... And because I don't usually go that far away where I would get misunderstood, Lower East Side is Lower East Side. There's trash everywhere. It kind of makes sense. It's a younger community. People always partying. Okay, okay. She got out that one very well. Do you sit down on the subway when your outfit doesn't call for pants? No, I don't. If I do, I always have a spare shirt I put on the seat. Some crazy people have been sitting there. If I'm not insane. Most of the time, I just stand up unless my outfit is too showy. I would never sit on with my bare butt. It's a good, good question to ask. Where did, where did you set your phone to record? I, I'd like that too. Um, where I live and I, and I go out, it's always been safe. I put my phone on the floor where you push it to get out. But I put it in a super flat so it doesn't have any angle so you can see my full body. Wow, okay. I don't do anything extra with it. Most of the times you see me out, I don't have makeup or accept lipstick. 
because I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know how to do hair. I'm terrible at those two things because I have no patience for that. But for some reason, when it comes to my outfits, I can leave the house unless it's perfect. So I'm always late. Okay, so she puts her phone actually on the floor. Wow, boy, she's she's brave because I would never do that, especially in London. Your phone will get jacked in a fucking instant. It continues. Where are you normally going with your outfits? In New York, it's always go, you have to go somewhere. You have to go to a museum, and park, uh, blah, blah. Okay, we don't care about that. Another one. Have you been turned away from somewhere from one of your outfits? She said, no, never. People will give you looks, especially older people. It also depends on how you wear it. I don't wear it in the sense of, oh, look at my private parts. Attitude is part of the outfit. It has to go together. If you're not confident, people are going to smell it. I have to remember it's all good if you're living only once. You know what's funny as well? Observation. I think it actually helps that she's not like super curvy and doesn't have like super big boobs and shit. I guess that's kind of like a weird trap for a girl. If you're a girl and you're into fashion, but you have like a quintessential, like, you know, a stereotypical sexy body, let's say, right? Where you have very voluptuous boobs, super big hips, big bum and whatever. It can be really hard to wear these kind of outfits because immediately the first thing people are going to think is sex. They're not going to think like style, you know, because you see this outfit that she's wearing now. I don't know. Unless you're Fousey, you're not going to get a boner seeing her with this outfit. You're just going to think, oh, she looks pretty cool. So I think that kind of works when you're kind of, you know, I don't know. You don't have much going on body-wise. It's a weird thing I just kind of thought about now as a fucking non-woman. But I guess that kind of is a weird trap when you are when you do have curves, when you have assets and shit. It's kind of hard to wear certain things because when you wear it, it just immediately screams like you're asking for attention and shit. Like you're looking at me when it's really just you want to wear something to, you know, look cute and shit. You're kind of dressing for yourself, but you know, you kind of have to keep that in mind, especially if you live in places where guys like to get a bit handsy and shit. So yeah, um, big up her. We continue. Uh, what's it? Who says? Crashes, she looks like Iggy Pop. Yeah, a little bit, isn't it? True, that's a good point. Do you have to put on outfits together um, and wearing them? I live for it, she says. What's that? Do you have fun? Yeah, she said, I live for it. You know when people say, I don't have time to get dressed? I don't understand that. I enjoy it, every little bit of it. And sometimes um, you don't have time, but I'm still going to put on an outfit. That's my brush. Yeah, I love that for her. I love the fact that she's so into clothes like this. Because the thing that I kind of hate as well about fashion, Twitter and social media, the places where she's getting kind of bullied and harassed by people, is that a lot of these people online, for the most part, they don't buy the clothes that they talk about, right? They're, they're sitting there online pontificating about these brands. They don't wear them. They don't go to the stores. And they don't actually wear interesting things day to day. Most of the time they're wearing fucking Zara and Sheen shit, but they have so many big, strong opinions on fucking fashion and shit. It's like, come on, you don't live the life. You don't buy the brands. You're not really about it. So just shut your fucking trap and let the ones that are actually doing it on the front lines like my girl Subway Sessions do what they do. It continues. She said, uh, the answer, um, where do you normally shop? Um, I'm assuming it's all thrifted, right? What's, what's the answer here? Most of my accessories I like to do designer, the bags and the glasses, but the rest of the outfit is mostly thrifted. Yeah, I knew it. Most of it's secondhand, so, but the accessories are designer. Huh, interesting flip. Um, I like to shop at Second Street on Goodwill and websites like Real Real Sense or Essence, sorry. I like to do Alexander Wang. Oh, boo. We can't be fucking having, you know, we can't be having fucking sexual abuse and shit being endorsed there. That's a bit of a blotch on her fucking record, but we move. The Fendi's, the Gucci's, the Pradas. My biggest inspiration is Alessandro Michele at Gucci. Um, that makes sense with the proportions and shit. Even though he recently left the house, but his vision is very me. It's extremely powerful. Yeah, and it's very kitschy and all over the place. So it makes sense why she likes um, Alessandro Michele. And of course, Demna as well. Vetman Demna with the big fucking boxy blazers and the skinny tights. Um, even though there's a scandal and everything, Balenciaga has been very inspiring at times. Same with Margiela and of course, Mew Mew. Okay, I like the brands that she likes and she lists there. Who are some of your fashion icons or inspirations? She likes Rihanna. Kendall Jenner, Sienna Miller. It's a good call. That's a fucking UK legend. L London legend. Big up Sienna Miller. Original it girl. There's something about her. Um, I like the way that she puts things together. Of course, Bella Hadid. Yeah, big up my girl Bella. She's also out here freaking it. But I'm sick of hearing about her in my comments. People keep saying I'm trying to be her. Like we're so different. I understand the basketball shorts. Zoe Kravis too. And Lenny Kravis. Yeah, okay, cool. She's tired of being compared to Bella Hadid. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> please stop comparing me to one of the hottest women in the world please please we're nothing alike <laughs> anyway what kind of clothes do your friends wear and where do they shop 
one of my friends is a model and anything looks good on her one of my friends is just to had a baby she's not into clothes one of my other friends shops in at aritza and zara i have a friend who's a goth so she's always very black you know what i think that's why she looks good i'm gonna say this now i think fashion people who only have fashion friends are fucking freaks and usually they don't look good anyway and they usually you know circle jerk each other and just talk absolute bullshit but i think actually living a somewhat regular well-adjusted life in real life and actually having real friends it kind of helps you have a balanced and sort of like you know laissez-faire attitude towards fashion and not taking it too seriously but also taking the shit that you're into very seriously you know what i mean that good balance so i think that's why she's got this she's kind of got a good head on her shoulders um what's the weirdest thing that happened to you since you started being getting notoriety the weirdest thing is that i feel the same i've been getting a lot of love and they'll dm i've been very humbled by some people um if i was if i was sensitive i would turn off my social media just to not read all the bad comments the people that s actually see your vision and support you they write big messages cool people are giving up texts. um when did you start dressing the way you do now in 2021 after the pandemic my father had died i repeat her dad blah, blah blah what do you say to those who say that you have safety and the ability to do so because people will perceive that you are white and thin Oh my God, I fucking hate social media and the internet. People are complaining that this girl has the physique that she has, which is why she can do what she does. What? Maybe if you put down your fucking croissant, right? And you jumped on a treadmill, maybe you could also increase your ability to do good outfits too. I've said this from the, from the beginning. I've gone from fat to thin to thin to fat to fat to fat to thin to thin. And I can honestly say nothing improves your wardrobe more then losing five to ten pounds not even getting skinny just losing a bit of weight rounding yourself up a bit firming up in the right places can improve your outfit selections tenfold more so than going out and trying to get baggier clothes or wear different clothes or whatever maybe or try and fit into stuff that doesn't fit your shape just try and lose 10 to 20 especially if women five to 20 pounds and your dress size can you know drastically change and all of a sudden all these other options are opened up to you in terms of outfit choices it's not really that difficult it just requires a little bit of work and again i'm not saying to people that you have to all look like fucking bella hadid but even if you're a curve you're you're a bit fat just losing a bit of weight excess weight can legitimately make you look way better in clothes overall um but hey what do i know well she says here what what do you say on these occasions yes I'm white and even though I'm an Armenian, I'm not responsible for the colour I was born in. Exactly. I love her answer. This I'm gonna stand this girl, honestly. I will applaud anyone. Anyone with the confidence can pull it off. Of course I'm privileged because I'm white. But don't <laughs> I thought she was gonna I thought she was gonna be one of those people that says I'm not white, I'm Armenian. I wanted to say that. that that would have really fucking set the interview off um anyway this is so fucking this is so much nonsense like why do I even ask her these questions it's fucking insane she puts on outfits she puts on fun outfits on tiktok and now they're fucking trying to give her a fucking 21 and me fucking question and answer session it's like what anyway um people will say I, I like to embarrass myself maybe i like a kink about it maybe i do i was born this way i have a talent i want to show it off why are people talking about my race and my body? I would never talk about that. No matter what color or weight the other person is, I would never comment on that. And I believe if you have comments like that, leave it to yourself. Exactly. It's not my responsibility to make people feel better about themselves. Ooh, I like this. Or oh, about yourself. People who comment that way don't feel good about themselves. There's something in their lives that they, they are not into. I agree with her there. And then she says at the bottom here, at the end, what are you hoping to gain from all this? I'm taking it day by day. I'm open to every possibility. I'm willing to explore every opportunity out there. I believe I'm talented and I have vision. I like, she, I like that she keeps saying she's talented because I think there is a talent to dressing well because clearly people like Joe Budden, right, from the fucking Joe Budden podcast, one of the worst dressed men in the history of fucking clothes, clearly can show you that some people have the opposite of talent when it comes to dressing because he can't seem to get an outfit together unless he's wearing fucking tracksuits and he's got you know way more disposable income than i have but he just can't seem to get it right outfit so clearly there is talent is associated with fucking dressing well so i like that she keeps mentioning that and kind of gassing herself up um but overall decent enough interview i feel like that whoever the writer was here let me just scroll up and see if i can see their name i feel like this person was hating super hard um dania is isawi 
whoever this person was, I feel like was really, really hating because some of the questions were bizarre, right? Even the way she's kind of set it off, the first question here, she really kind of went for her neck. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> you describe yourself as an artist why are you what art are you making like so condescending but big up um what you call it big up uh the lady subway sessions whose name is what's her actual name her name is christina avakianka is that you say her name Ava, avakian christina avakian avakian yeah avakian so big up christina avakian for being a good sport, answering the questions as as she did, and you know, just trying to set the record straight and letting people know, freaking it outside with your clothes, you know, especially with stuff considering the stuff that she's wearing is thrifted and stuff. There's some good ideas here people can pull away from and wear like even this outfit here. I see a lot of girls kind of freaking this well. You don't maybe have to have to split, but a nice kind of furry skirt somewhere with the heels and a big shirt looks pretty decent for most people. So big up her for doing the bits and pieces there. Me like it me fucking like it 